All right, here we go. Uh, this is one uh, I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Warren Demartini from Rat. Um, the I just need to tell a very brief story. 25 years ago, I didn't realize it was 25 years ago. Uh, I I'd moved to Decatur, Illinois. I was in high school and I was lonely. And who do I see coming to the Decatur Civic Center? Rat on her very first. I was I don't know if it's your first tour. I think it is your first tour outside of. California, right? I mean, I checked the dates on your website, at 83 tour, and it was all California and a Texas or two. Yeah. But I think that was probably your first real full-on tour, right? 84? Yeah, I mean, it most definitely. That was that would have been the beginning of uh, what ended up being the Out of the Cellar tour. And, and I was looking at the dates, and I could not believe how many... You were out forever, yeah. but you came through Illinois like five times. You just you looked like you were just going back and forth. Wherever. It was really three tours, you, ah. you know, just just you know, all connected together. Because we, we at the beginning of when the record came out, we uh, we went out on our own on the West Coast, and then uh, picked up the uh, Billy Squire tour. Did that whole tour? Ah, did the whole that's right, country? Billy Squire. Then we, I think, did some some stuff with Twisted Sister in the in the uh, the east and the northeast again. You know, so sort of doing a whole other territory. Ah. Again, it, it ended up. I think it was close to twelve months. It, I mean, the dates went on and on and on. I kept yeah. seeing Peoria, Chicago, and it was like five times. I go, oh, I thought that was it, Decatur. It was a Blackfoot, and Mama's boys. Yeah, good old Mama's boys, man. Where are Blackfoot and Mama's boys now? <laughs> well, uh, well, well. Uh, Ricky Medlock plays guitar in in Leonard Skinner now. Oh, really? Well, that's, yeah. that's a perfect and, uh, fit. And I just I just saw Pat in uh, in Belfast, Ireland. Really? Yeah. Uh, wow. He, my partner Terry there mentioned before the camera rolled that uh, you were born in Chicago. Yeah, born in the suburbs and uh, just west of the city in, uh, in St. Luke's Hospital. And, uh, uh, and so you got family and friends out tonight? Yes, we do, yeah. My uh, tour manager is, uh, you know, in a huge stack of paper. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Trying to figure it all out. Trying to figure it all out, yeah. No, it, it'll, be, uh, it, it'll be a nice reunion tonight. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of friends, lots of family. How old were you when you moved? Uh, I was twelve, actually. Oh, yeah, moved to the oh. west coast. I was doing some googling. Pretty, and I pretty could young. not get any indication how old or young you were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, geez, you got out there and and just got going, and that's you? true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, but it. Uh, well, I, I, I'm. I'm it's, it was. Uh, I was twelve when I moved there, and then uh, eight years after that, I moved to LA. So I kind of feel like I'm from. From all three, yeah, really, yeah. you know what I mean. Kind of spent de enough time. Wow. You know. Did you move to LA purely for music purposes? Yeah, or? Purely, purely, just just right, just really to just specifically to join Rat. Wow. And uh, yeah, they they uh, they had you know guitarist joined another band and and the spot opened up and it was it was really just kind of a can you do this tonight and <laughs> come on up. <laughs> what can I ever write? I was. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can quit junior college, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> in the future for me. Well, I, I saw that uh, you know you're into computer. Actually, I don't know where Wikipedia that came says from. PHP I don't know. job. I'm going. That's really, really weird. Someone else said that too. Uh, I, I guess know. that's on the Google somewhere. Uh, it's a Wikipedia thing, you know, which always have to be verified. In uh, God, you know, somebody I, needs. Well, to, I, I, I don't. I don't know where that goes. There, I definitely, you know, wish I could. Yeah, right. But, well, uh, like you got. I remember I was we working on a spreadsheet trying to to you know create a spreadsheet that would like you know yeah. uh, you know just to have this massive formula and I remember my brother called me what are you doing and, I, and that had been like three days at this maybe thing, somebody's you tapping know. your phone and going yeah, he's a computer you know, programmer like, everybody yeah. oh god um, but it was this big elaborate you know twenty step <laughs> thing but I, I eventually did get it though is it related to rat stuff. <laughs> It was. I wanted to know how, like, a, you know, if a T-shirt sold for this, you know, and then just ah, all the places business. it goes, or you know, the, the you know, the, the, right down to the person, you know, the how much, uh, just everything, you know, at the very, the very bottom. Yeah, so somebody's got to do it. You know, but once I, I kind of stumbled into one of those those spreadsheets that could just do all that stuff, it was just like, wow, well, yeah, you can. It's a miracle. You can get this down to a razor <laughs> edge here. You know? Add another buck to everything. <laughs> Uh, are you and Bobby, can you consider yourself, you're the two, you know, that, that seem to keep it going longer than anybody else. Well, Stephen returned to the band uh, uh, about, God, what was, what was it, four, four or five years, years ago. ago and, it doesn't uh, seem like it was and, that uh, long. I mean, it, 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 it was, uh, and, and of course he was in the band right up till till 2000. 
So uh, I, I, you know, I, I think it's it's the three of us really that yeah. they keep it going. I won't ask you about Juan. I, everybody already knows you know, he's got other things going. But I have to ask at least, is there ever a chance of doing, well, three out of five is about, you know, in these days and age, that, that's pretty damn good of, of the original guys. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'll, I'll be happy with that. All right. <laughs> It's very well. You know, we, can, we interview a lot of bands from your era, you know, and it's down to one or two guys, and I don't know, it just kind of loses. You well, it does for me. It, it does for me. I mean, I, I, I. I well, you like I, you bands know, just like I'm everybody a else. Music fan too, yeah. so I mean, I know all about it. And when we set out, when we, you know, when the group first got popular, I mean, you know, we, we, you know, the, the intent was to really. St- to stay together as long as possible, you know what I mean. Yeah, but then, pretty good run there. You know, yeah, yeah, it was a good run. Yeah. It was a good run. But it, you know, doesn't, it, you know, doesn't always work out the way you <laughs> plan it to. And I mean, we really tried when Stephen came back to the band. We really tried to do a all surviving members reunion and really worked hard on that. Yeah. And, you know, there, were, it, you know, I mean, we did everything we could. Does it feel cool good. to do a new album? Yeah, yeah, it really does. You know, we did something off the beaten path for Rat. You know, we 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 recorded it. Uh, on the east coast and uh you know it's it's just you know for a change of scenery it seems and, like uh, that'd be a you know it's, it's great you know it, it this the our producer uh turned uh, is big you know a house into a recording studio so you live there and oh. eat there and you know you, like be, you basically school. eat sleep and and uh you know just only do music there you know so it's great no one's cell phones work there i mean it was perfect <laughs> much like here yeah it's perfect <laughs> When is that uh, going to hit the streets? This can't be I'm thinking away. probably early 2010. Oh, yeah? I was yeah. thinking it was yeah. going to be like... We were shooting for, for uh, uh, holiday 09, but uh, this this tour came along and kind of uh, kind of changed all that because of what happened was the, the, uh, the, the beginning of the recording got delayed, uh, you know, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Two, two or three times so you know it, it overlapped the beginning of the of this tour we had six or eight warm-up shows booked for the for this tour and uh, it just it just kind of got to be impossible so we decided to just press pause and pick it up again yeah. in september did you play did you do a lot of pre-production and practicing together or is this uh not a lot idea? just enough you know yeah. uh not 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 a lot Pro- probably about a week you know? Are you the main songwriter? Is Carlos Actually, with you? Um, you know, I've I've got my hand in in, in I, you know a lot, but uh, but but everyone's contributed to this. Uh, every you know everyone has at least two songs that it's they've brought cool. in on this project, so it's pretty it's how, pretty how did, it's pretty well diversified. Speaking of Carlos, how exactly? I'm very curious as to how he ended up playing with you guys. I mean, it seems like a perfect fit. Yeah, his style, you know, everything. It seems to me like it would be a, a natural. Fit. Yeah, I I I thought about two or three years ago um, we were in a situation where we thought we were gonna we were gonna have to replace uh, you know a band member and and I was like in in it was kind of like we got who you know who are we gonna yeah. who are we gonna do and I really didn't want to do like a you know an open kind of kind yeah. of cattle call kind of thing and uh, uh, and I just uh, Carl's was the first one that came to mind and uh, and then that blew over. And, and everything was cool for another year or so. And but but around that time, I, saw, I was talking to Vinny Apice. I saw him at a mm. at a club in L.A. And, and he told me that he was doing a project with Carlos. So I got Carlos's number. For, I got uh. it from him. Didn't use it for like two or three years, you know. <laughs> Just <sitting there. laughs> But I had it in there, and then. Uh, and then when when the situation came up again, it was the first one I thought of, and I just called him and told him that, and he said, "Yeah." I'm assuming he'd already been out of Quiet Riot for a little while. There. He'd already been out of Quiet Riot, yeah, for about four years, so four or five years, I think. And, uh, when the last couple of years ago, I would have swore that was like last year. Yeah, they did. They did a whole whole tour with with without him and Rudy. So. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A different bass player. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot all about that. Yeah, and it was, uh, I mean, it was just, and it's been, it's just been really, really cool. You know, he uh, he actually brought in some some ideas that that uh, they they didn't get around to working up um, for the uh, uh, for the their debut record, which is really really wow. cool. And and you know, there's three of them, and they're they're just they're just you know, it, yeah. they're, they're one you know way up there on my favorite list. If I could have picked somebody, that that would be the guy I would say that would be that's be a killer combo, you and him. So I. Yeah. Can't wait to see that tonight. Uh, well, we're going to let you go. Right on. Well, and, thanks. Uh, thanks a million. Oh, I want you to sign an album if you don't mind. 